guys, today we're going to work on making the skeleton and the armature for our paper mache project. So as I mentioned before, we are going to be making ice cream cones and or snow cones. It is up to you what you choose to make. But today we're going to work on making the cone shape and making the scoops of ice cream or snow cone that you choose to add. So you could do one scoop, you could make a two scoop, you could do three or four if you have time, or you could also make it look like your ice cream cone is melting out, like it fell over and it's melting. Or you might even choose to add two cones and like two ice cream cones are smashing together. But as long as you're using the cone shape and the sphere shape and combining them to make your ice cream snow cone, then that's what you need to do. So, we'll start. Each table has a circle. What you'll need to do as a group is cut out that circle and then you're gonna be dividing it into four parts because every student needs one fourth of the circle in order to make their cone shape. So I'm cutting out the rest of my circle. You can take turns. Each person can cut out a different part. So some, one person can cut out this circle and then another one can do the next step. So the next part that we're doing is folding it in half. You're making your semicircle. Once you do that, you can open it back up and cut right down that folded line. So now we have two halves of the circle, but I said we need to get down to two, to everyone having a fourth. So with that, again, you'll fold those in half. When you have that, you'll have your fourth of a circle. So open it back up, cut along that line, and you'll do the exact same thing with the other one. Then everyone at your table should have their piece to make their cone. When you have your piece, what you're going to do, you want to roll it so that one side edge overlaps with the other edge and you'll make a cone shape. Just like that. When you have that, grab a piece of tape and you want to tape that edge down. Make sure it's secure and it's not going to open up on you. All right. Put one more piece of tape just to make sure it keeps its shape because I don't want it coming apart. So there is my cone. Once you have your cone shape, you can set it to the side and everybody can grab their newspaper. With your newspaper, you need a big piece this size. And what you're gonna do, this is the best part, you're gonna crumple it up and make a ball. Now, think about if you have a really big and fluffy ball, that's gonna be a huge ice cream scoop. But if you crumple it up too small, it might not look like it. It might fall in your cone. So you have to do it about just the right size. I'm going to crumple up my paper and see how it fits. That's, that's a pretty big ice cream scoop. I might have to press it down a little bit more, compact it, and then I can use my tape again. And I want to use a really long piece of tape and just wrap it around the whole ball shape. And then I'll get another piece and I'll wrap it the opposite direction. Just trying to make sure it can keep its shape again. Get one more piece. There we are. So now I have my newspaper ice cream scoop. I'm going to put it on top of my cone. I need to make sure that's secured down. I like to do that by starting my tape on the cone. I'm going to go up and over the sphere that I just made and tape it again back down to the other side of the cone. Using long pieces of tape for this. I want to do that with two more pieces. Start on one side, go up and over that sphere shape and tape back down on the other side of the cone. just to make sure it is completely secure. Once you have that, 
you have your ice cream cone. The last step you need to do today is write your name on the cone so we know whose is whose and make sure you write your teacher's name as well.